Today I am going to be spending the day inside in my office here, catching up on some stuff and trying to, <laughs> trying to salvage a video that I spent two days on earlier this week. I, you know, I got up on Monday morning, I had a good idea for a what I thought was a good idea anyway for a, a video and I went out and I started building it and filmed it of course and then in the afternoon I tried it and it didn't work. At least it didn't work the way that I wanted it to work. So that was kind of disappointing I gotta say. What I normally do after something like that happens is I try and try again uh, to see if I can get something that actually works so I can put it in the video. And uh, I tried another couple things, but still I wasn't having any success, so I wrote off the rest of the day. Now the next day, I uh, got up with a different idea. I can't claim that it came to me in a dream, although that would be pretty neat. Um, and... I went out to the workshop, I had renewed enthusiasm for it because I was going to use the exact same thing that I had made the day before for another purpose. And um, the only thing I'd have to do is use it for that purpose. I'm not going to get into it because I'm probably going to make a video or two actually. And, and one of them will almost certainly be on here, what I'm going to call the fail parts. And I even refilmed some of the parts of the build so that it would look right when I, you know, go to use it on the thing there. So it wouldn't look different. And when I did try it, it didn't work either. <laughs> so uh, that's two days gone and a whole whack of footage and a whole idea blown to bits. So... You know, I don't like posting, uh, I don't like posting, pro I don't think anybody does actually, not that it's been doing this for a while anyway, posting projects that don't work uh, because, you know, it kind of makes you look bad, first of all, even though there's nothing <laughs> wrong with the idea and certainly there's nothing wrong with trying, but it makes you look incompetent in some people's eyes. Usually that's the type of people that don't know the difference, that haven't tried anything. So rather than blow off the day yesterday, I went out to the workshop and I was looking around and I said a lot of something else to do and <laughs> I started to do what you're watching right now, except out in the workshop, basically talking about, you know, what I failed at and, you know, the steps that I went through to, you know, try to fix it. And then I started talking about this other thing. And then I came in last night to edit that video. And I found that, wow, was it way, way out of focus. So that bugged me too much. So I had to scrap that. And I even went to as far as fully editing it and uploading it onto YouTube. And I, I just said, I can't, I can't release that. It looks too, but it looks too terrible. It's too out of focus. The first part anyway. The middle part is kind of closer. I don't know what happens some days, some days or some weeks. You might as well just stay in fucking bed because they're not going to work out. Anyway, so <clears throat> doing this, I'm out in the workshop, I'm walking around, I'm looking at different things that I could possibly uh, make something quick with to try to get the content up before the end of the week. You know, you, you know it's a constant pressure to put out content, weekly content, or as much content as you possibly can. I try to put out uh, high quality content and that usually takes longer and you know sometimes it trips me up because the, the, the project doesn't work. Anyway, to get back to what I was talking about. So I'm walking around and I'm looking at different things and I keep looking at that push stick here and then I grabbed it up and I tried it again and I liked it better this time so what I did was I actually looked at one of like looked at the things that were wrong with it one of it is too it's too long 
And I know I had comments on that in the thing, but the idea was to try to emulate the distance you get with this thing right here. So it's too long. The other thing is this handle here. Even though I tried to get it the right geometry, it's still not right. Your arm is now cocked upwards like this, and that's uncomfortable. So what I did was I redesigned it again and cut it out, and here it is. And if we compare the two, you can see it's very similar, except it's that much shorter, and the handle is now at a better angle because I actually tried... Like, you know, I took this one up here and I put it in its place and then I used this one as the handle to try to get the right angle and then I worked it out like that. So, long story short, this is the one and I've tried it and it is great. And But there's one thing about it, it's the way you hold it. You don't hold it like this, like you're holding a gun. You got to hold it with the round part of the end here cupped in your palm like that and your hand kind of, um, your fingers kind of draped over like this so that you can actually push down because you're pushing down with your fingers, not with your arm. And then you get the control that you have with the shorter one, but the distance from the blade that everybody wants. I'm not going to say that this is better than my original, but it's close. And I don't think you're giving up too much control at all. And the key is the grip to have it pushed into your palm like that. Not down here, but up higher on that back curve like that. And then your fingers wrapped around that curve like that. That gives you the downforce that you need to hold the stock down and keep it in control. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the dimensions for this, the angles and all that on my website because it's too big for a single piece of printer paper to print it out like my other one was. That was the beauty of that. All you needed to do was print it out, cut it out of the sheet of paper and you could make it. But this one is too big. But maybe bigger is better.